for watching the startup video on the Fujifilm S2950. This video is going to show you how to get this camera started for the very first time. Um, first things first is uh, to insert the batteries into the camera. Now the camera uses four AA batteries. The camera does include alkaline batteries, which are one-time use batteries. I, we highly recommend you pick up a good set of rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries so that you can use them over and over again. Okay. So let's just, uh, for demonstration purposes, uh, use the batteries that are included with the camera and get started with this camera. First things first is to take a look at the bottom of the camera. Um, this is where the battery cover is. We're going to slide this level up and pull the door to the left, I guess, and we can flip open. So now we can actually insert batteries into the camera. If we do follow the diagrams that are indicated here, we can properly insert the AA batteries. So plus goes there. Minus goes here, minus there, and plus goes there. We're going to close that. Actually, before we close that, um, we're going to insert the memory card into the camera as well. Okay? So let's do that. Now, the camera uses, of course, an SD card. It also supports SDHC cards or high capacity cards. We highly recommend if you're planning to record HD videos to use a class 4 card or higher in order to, uh, for the camera to properly write to the card itself. The card only goes, goes one way. So if you insert it and it doesn't go in, it's not the right way. So don't try to jam it in, OK? So the way to do this is to insert the contacts facing the back of the camera. And it goes in like that. There should be no resistance. If I push all the way down, it clips into place. And it's completely uh, in. If I push down again, it ejects the card. Okay? There we go. So let's close the battery cover. So we're going to hold it down. Now as we hold pressure going down, we push it until um, it clips in place. The camera's ready to go for the very first time. A little dirty screen. To turn the camera on, of course, two ways of doing this. We can actually hold down the playback button on the back of the camera. This is a good way to turn on the camera without having to turn the lens on to display images. And of course, we can use the standard on and off switch. So let's do the on and off switch. I'm going to slide it open. And if this is the very first time you turn the camera on, it's going to ask you to go through quick setup options like the language, the date and time, and uh, the type of batteries that you're going to use. So this is English that I'm going to select. Uh, you can select whatever date you want to select. I'm good with that and the camera turns itself on. As you can see, the lens came out a little bit. It popped up the lens cover that I had attached onto the camera. Now, the camera does have a mode dial. You can switch between the different modes, you know, from scene recognition auto, which is a standard default setting, automatic, program automatic, shutter, aperture, and full manual controls to adjust things uh, uh, like shutter speed and aperture. There's also a custom setting, and of course, a movie mode to record video in HD panoramic feature. I'm just going to bring it back down to SR Auto. So as I change that, you notice the screen also shows me uh, the different modes I'm switching to. So SR Auto. Now to take pictures for the very first time, simply there's a shutter button on the top of the camera. I'm just going to push and it takes that picture for me. Again, I'm just going to show you on the screen. I'm just going to push it all the way down and it takes the picture. Now, ideally, when you want to properly take pictures with, with a digital camera, you want to push the shutter button halfway down so it pre-focuses. And once I'm ready to take the picture, I push all the way down, and it takes the picture. So it reduces the lag time. Now, to zoom in to zoom out, I can use this little toggle here. The camera does have an 18 times zoom. It's a wide-angle zoom, so it starts off at 28 miller, goes all the way down, as you can see, very, very close. And the indicator tells me how much zoom I'm coming in on. So there we go, 9, 11. Let's take the picture. Focus and take the picture. Zoom out again. Focus. Take the picture. And again. Focus. Oh, I'll take the picture. It might be... Uh, of a black chair. Funny. Now this camera has an electronic viewfinder, so instead of using the LC screen, I can actually push this button and I can look through the electronic viewfinder on the camera. It's kind of hard to see there. 
if you can sort of see that. I'm going to switch that back just for demonstration purposes only. Okay, so now that we're taking a couple pictures, we're zoomed in, zoomed out using the optical controls. To play back your images, you can push the playback button. And now we can go through the, the, the images that we've just taken by using the directional pad by pushing right. And you can see this camera takes actually unbelievable images. If I want to zoom in on that shot, I can use the zoom control by pushing this way. And I'm zooming in. And now I can pan up and down. I mean, the colors on this camera are actually pretty amazing. This is no wonder why this camera is one of our top selling cameras um, in, in, at Fuji. Okay, so if I want to go to the next picture, zoom in. I can zoom in by doing this. And I can push left or right, or up and down to uh, pan through the shot. I can push the display button to get out of that, and I'm back out again. Now, if I wanted to delete images, there's a quick delete option I push up, and it comes up with a direct erase option to delete the current frame I have selected. I can select multiple frames, or I can delete all the images. So I'm just going to delete the current frame that I have selected by pushing OK. It's going to confirm I'm going to go OK. Images are now deleted. It goes to the next frame. Do I want to delete this? No. So I'm going to push back. Now I can also delete all images by going through the menu. By pushing the menu OK button, I can select Erase navigate through the uh, erase options. Again, I have the same three options. I'm going to select select frames. I'm going to show you how to do that. So these are the shots I've taken that are saved in the camera right now. I'm going to select this one by, by moving up. I'm going to push OK. And now there's a check mark on it. I'm going to select this one. And actually, I like that one. I don't like the chair. I'm going to select that, push OK. Now I have two selected. I'm going to push display. And it says, do you want to delete the images? I have two selected. I'm going to push up. And I'm going to confirm that. And now those two images are, are erased. And it goes just to my last image. Again, I'm just going to zoom in on this because it's unbelievable how good this camera is. And I mean, I zoomed in, took a shot, and it took excellent color rendition. Very nice. Cool. So that's just a quick look at how to get this camera up and running for the very first time. Uh, please check out the owner's manual for more instructions on how to fully utilize this camera. Thank <music> you.